In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text message bubble effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, you first just want to begin by creating a new rounded rectangle. So we'll go up to the rectangle tool up here, we'll hold that and drag down to the rounded rectangle. Now you want to make sure that you have a solid fill, so select solid color and select a color of your choice. It doesn't matter too much what you select here because we'll change the color of this later on. But let's just go for a green or something, or we'll go for a blue. And then go ahead and turn off the stroke. So no stroke color, so no outline. Press OK. And now you can just go ahead and draw a rectangle. So feel free to make this as large as you want. It's completely up to you, but I'm going to go for something like this. We'll just center that up. And as you can see, that is our rounded rectangle. But from there, we're just gonna go ahead and go into effects and preset, and we're going to search for ramp. That should load up gradient ramp. So we'll drop that onto our box, and then you want to go start color, we'll select a blue. And then the end color can be a slightly different shade of blue. So you can go for a darker blue, you can go for a lighter blue. It's completely up to you, but make it slightly different to the other blue. So I'm just going to go for somewhere around here. But once you've changed the color, you can now see you've got more of a gradient on this. And that just looks a lot nicer. So from here, you can just go ahead and type out your message. So we'll go into the T icon, select on this box here, and then we'll just type out a message. So, hey... How are you? And then we'll just go to the character window. And if you can't see this, then just make sure you go into window and make sure character is turned on. And then we'll increase the size of this. Move the text into the middle of that bubble. And then feel free to change the color. You can change the font. You can change whatever you want here. You can also increase the size if you want. But once you're happy with the look of that, you can just go ahead and now adjust the size of this rectangle to fit the message. So I'm just going to pull this down. We'll put the text in the middle, so somewhere around there, and then we'll zoom back out. And as you can see, we've got this really cool text bubble effect. Of course, if you wanted to add a bit more definition onto this text layer, then you can always add some drop shadow. So search for drop shadow, drop that onto your text. And then as you can see, that looks a bit more accentuated. That looks a bit better. Of course, you can soften this up as well by just increasing the softness, it's completely up to you. And you can also pull the opacity down if you wanted a more subtle effect. But again, that's up to you. Now from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select both of those. We'll right click and select pre-compose and press okay. So basically what we've done here is we've pre-comped the text and the box together into their same layer, which means we can now go ahead and affect these at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to move the anchor point to the bottom right corner of this text bubble. So I'm going to select A on the keyboard to load anchor point, And then we'll just move this to the bottom right corner. Now from here, we're just going to press S on the keyboard to load scale. We'll go roughly half a second forward. Create a brand new keyframe on the scale at 100. We'll go back on ourselves about six frames. Increase the scale a little bit. So around 115, 116. We'll go back to the beginning and pull this to zero. Now, when we play this back, we've got this text bouncing effect. Of course, at the moment though, that looks a bit basic. So we're just going to convert these linear keyframes into easy ease keyframes. So right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. That should now look a lot nicer. There you go, that looks great. Of course, feel free to move the position of this if you wanted to. But now you can just go ahead and make your next text bubble and just rinse and repeat this process. So we'll go into pre-comp one. We'll select both of those, copy those, go back into our main comp, paste this in. We can change the wording. So I'm great. Thanks. And then once you've added in your message, you can now go ahead and change the color of the text box. So you can just go into gradient ramp. We'll change the start color to green. Then of course you can always change the end color as well if you wanted to, but I think that looks quite nice how it is. And then from there, you can either change the size of that box. So if your message was larger than this, then you can just change the size of this by just doing this. But once you're happy with that, you just select both of those layers again, right click, pre-compose. You can rename this to message two if you like, but we'll just leave it as pre-comp two for now. 
And then the same thing again, we're just going to press A on the keyboard to load the anchor point. We'll put the anchor point into the bottom left corner this time. Then we'll copy the scale from this layer. So we'll go on the scale, Command C. Then we'll go Command V on the layer here. And if we press S, that will reveal those keyframes like so. But the problem is they're popping up at the same time. So we'll push these keyframes on the second text layer over to the right. So that is a delay. Now, of course, feel free to move the position over if you wanted to like this. And then just keep rinse and repeating this process over and over again. Now, if these bubbles are too large for you, then you can just link them to a null object and change the scale of the null object. So if you go layer, new, null object, if you select both of those pre-comps and then parent that to the null object, press S on the keyboard, you can actually decrease the scale and it will affect both of these layers and you can animate the position as well. So you can move the position down. So by using null objects, you can actually budge this one up at the same time that the second bubble comes in. So we'll press S on the keyboard to load this here. So the keyframes on this layer, then we'll go to the null object. We'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Then we'll go over to the second keyframe here on pre-comp 2 and we'll nudge the null object up like this. So as you can see, as that message comes in, they both shift up, which looks really cool. Now, just keep repeating this process over and over again, depending on how many messages that you have. But once you've added in all of your messages, you just want to turn on motion blur. So select all of the layers. And if you can't see this option here, then select toggle switches slash modes. Select one of these boxes under the motion blur icon. Make sure the motion blur icon is blue. And that means you're going to get that motion blur on these text bubbles. And that's just going to look a lot nicer. There you go. That looks great. Now, the great news is all of this is done on a transparent layer, which means you can add some footage onto this and you won't have a back background or you can export that with an alpha channel, which is your transparent layer and drop this into your video editor of choice. It's completely up to you. But there you go. That is the basic text message effect now complete inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.